area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Use a dummy. 2020 sniper, it's a rap like a mummy. I've been eating all these beats, man, it's showing in my tummy. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, I'm trying to keep a level of professionalism that is necessary for me to adequately explain the amount of disgust and frustration that I have for what I just saw. So you have Young Gaddis, salute to Young Gaddis and everything that she's got going on, coming back to battle against official who's supposed to be one of the four faces of battle rap, one of the females that's, you know, running the thing and, and heir to the throne. And while we are going to have the recaps for the rest of the battles, I had to speak about this one in particular. I felt like it needed this amount of energy. Official, what the hell was that? Like, 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 I'm trying my best to, like, really wrap my hands around what that was but yo you got smoked dog walk 30 balled peter rolled destroyed like you're getting humbled in battle after battle right now and it looks crazy like jazz was there looking like she wanted to jump in or throw a punch for you and i honestly she should have stole on gaddis in the third round after yo she wrapped circles around you and your name is O. but the o was being wrapped circles around yo gaddis has a pen but she was rapidly rapping like my clicking them with you i'm getting the itch you i'm getting i'm fitting to hit you i'm ripping the tissue bro why you let her rap around you like that you're not even getting through your material yo this is the third time that you've done this in about the last three to four months and it won't be a fourth time I'm not, I like, next time you battle, I'm not picking you. I'm sorry. You're going to have to wrap your way out of that. You did that versus Arsenal. <laughs> you did that versus Cortez. You did that today. Like, it just keeps happening. Like, it's, yo, you like, officials becoming consistently inconsistent. Like, I understand you had a good battle versus Tay Rock, but, bro, other than that, like, you've been having some really inconsistent performances. I think maybe out of your last five battles, you might have had two clean performances. And that's crazy to be one of the top females. Your performances are getting shaky. It's like in the first round, it seemed to me like every bar I felt like you was going to choke. Like you would get to the and the the mean blazer, the, the, the team race. I'm like, yo, when are you going to get to your, why you can't get through your material clean? Debo, is you paying these people? You got them up there? She's not even getting through her material clean. Like, and the thing is, it's about, it's like the preparation, like the preparation means everything. And it, it robs the person that you're battling when you're not getting through your material. Like it, it's crazy. And I know y'all going to say this person still gets booked and that person's look, I'm not doing the booking. I talk about every single artist, male or female, you know, where if they doing great, I give them props. If they get in smoke like this, I got to call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. We just had this same thing with Danny versus Real Sick. I called it like it was. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't work for no league. I ain't pulling no punches. It is what it is. We're not here to make friends. We're here to make ends. But, bro, what was that? I, uh, I had to take a second off to think about it, man. Like, I really got a lot of love for what officials was able to do, but... I don't even want to take away from Gaddis. Like, I don't even want to take away from Gaddis. But what I will say is not even just in this battle. Like, in Shuni's battle, the stumbles, the stumbles, the stumbles. Like, you was going bar, like, wilding versus Vixen. But the stumbles will make you crumble. I just made that up not too long. The stumbles will make you crumble. You could get through a whole round. If you start stumbling and fumbling and slipping and blipping at the end of the round, there is no way you're going to get the round, especially if the other person gets off clear. It was like Gaddis didn't even have to take off her warm-up suit to, to beat you. 
30 ball, 3 Oh, it's not no debatable. Oh, she might have got the first. We got comes down to the third. It don't come down to nothing. It is a 3 0 body bag. You had Jazz was up there looking crazy. Like she wanted to jump in for you and throw a punch. I was like, yo, she, yo, yo, steal on her. Steal on her. Uh, and, you know, it was uh, uh, in the second round, you got close to him. In the back of my mind, I started coaching him. I was like, you go from this way, put the dose in him. I started coaching. I was like, please. Please, please steal on her and end this damn battle because you are getting smoked up here. I started coaching them. In the back of my mind, I started coaching them, bro. I was like, please just end this shit right now. Gaddis is a great rapper with a hell of a pen. I'm not taking nothing from her. But you be y'all be making people look way better than they are. She's she she's a phenomenal pen, dope writer. Follow Young Gaddis on on Twitter, Instagram, and all that. I follow her. She follows me. I fuck with Young Gaddis. I recapped her battle when she first came back and all of that. So I got mad love for her. But y'all made her look way better. You making some? They these people are already nice. They don't need you. They don't need y'all to make them look better. Y'all are making people look like superheroes when y'all up there doing this shit like this, stumbling and fumbling, slipping and blipping, but they. they Yo, she rapped like official, man. I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe you need to, to, to take a break or something, man. Maybe you needed to go on vacation. Uh, you know, Aruba. Uh, what else is nice? Bahamas is really nice. Maybe you need to go to the Bahamas for a couple weeks. Uh, you need to, you know, go on vacation, take some time off because. This you battling on every card is not it. And you've been battling a lot. I'm not going to lie. Whenever they have something with ladies, you always on the card. But recently, you've been getting kicked from here across the street. Let's be for real. Tournament versus Cortez, you got smoke. This joint right here, you got smoke. You battle Arsenal, you got smoke. You got 40 in between them, and that was because she was stumbling and fumbling. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I pulled off. I said, fuck, man. I rough, rough. Bulldog, I pulled off. And I, I just don't understand, like, I'm getting lost with this shit right now. And I'm really trying my best, like, y'all you know I'm saying, like, to not be on no hater shit. But it's like, come on, dog. I want my money back and I ain't even pay for it. I want my time back. I want my time back. I want my Saturday back. And I didn't even pay. It didn't even cost anything. You know, we lost, uh, we lost Casey J battle versus uh, 40 today because Casey, you know, she was in the hospital and stuff like that. I hope all is well with her. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you never want to see something happen like that where somebody has to get hospitalized before a battle. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you got company in the hospital, though. I tell you that. You're not going to be alone because uh, there's another body coming up there. It ain't going. You ain't. You're not alone. You got company on the way. It's company on the way. You know what I'm saying? You got visiting hours. They're going to have to extend the visiting hours today because you got. Because uh, your, your girl, your Bardashian. Is on the way. I'm not gonna lie, yo. I don't really want to like, like, like say nothing that's too, too, too out of bounds. But the Bardashian be looking real civilian, dog. I'm not gonna lie, y'all looking real civilian. Jazz not rapping. She's saying that uh, uh, Misfit want too much. I don't know. She ain't saying Misfit want too much. She just said they're not willing to give Misfit what she wants. So she ain't battling. Official out here getting dog walked. I'm actually about to go walk my dog now too. She out here getting dog walked, and it's like. It's chinks in the armor. E Heart and official. I mean E Heart and um my girl First Lady Flames had a fucking classic. They had a mug. Whoa. Whoa. They had a classic. But I'ma recap that separately. They need their own love. But this, but what happened to official? That shouldn't even be legal. Like, that shouldn't even be legit. Like, yo, she really wrapped circles around you. That's the crazy part. It's not about losing. Like I said in the other video when it came to Danny Myers and Real Sick, it's not about losing. People lose battles every day, B. It's about how you lose and the way you lose. That's what's more important. Everything else is irrelevant. People are going to lose. But that's stumbling and you can't get through your material and you slipping the blipping and the, the pump gripping. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, ah, oh, shit. Like, what do y'all give? What do y'all do? Like, I be wanting to know what is the what is the, the, the thought process when these people get booked. 
Like you get your deposit and what do you do? Just not write or not start no bars or nothing? Because how do these people go up there so often and forget the shit that they get paid to say? And I know they making good money too. Caffeine got good money. Ain't you not getting paid chicken nuggets? And I ain't trying to be in y'all pockets, but I mean, damn, you got smoke, my dog. Like smoke, smoke. And I want to, you know, I want to um end this by giving love, props, and admiration to Young Gaddis for coming back after uh, so many years off and being able to just pick right back up where she left off. Um, clean. The pen is there. The bars are there. Uh, the aggression is there. Uh, you know how I know somebody's real comfortable with their material when they rapping and they able to do shit like in between the bars. Like, yeah, yeah, this is dark. Yeah, this is dark. Yeah, I'm going to get your girl. Your girl is out of here. Like when they start doing that talking in between, that's when you know they really comfortable with their material because they able to talk, talk that sauce right in between. It's like, you know, you got the food, but then you put that little bit of sauce on it. You know, mama's cooking. They sprinkle that little bit of seasoning for the reasoning on there. And you just know like, yeah, she, she feeling it. You know what I'm saying? She feeling herself because she put that sauce on there. Like you let somebody put that and they come back battle. You let that happen in a comeback battle? Not like she been in for, like, like Gad has been back for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even have no beard when Gaddis last was seen rapping, you know what I'm saying? And she's, like, you letting her do that? Put the sauce on you, the halal? Man, you got that special treatment. But I'm saying, like, I'm just gonna be honest with you, like, I pick my official in mad battle. I'm glad I ain't back. But I'm picking her in mad battles where she's not winning, and I'm looking past the inconsistencies and I'm like fooling myself at this point. Like I picked her versus Ars, she lost. I picked her versus Tez, she lost. I picked her 2-1 versus Gaddis, she lost. Like I, I just had to pick against her for her to win. I'm gonna have to pick against her. I know that it was the rock battle. Some people had her winning, some people had him, him, him winning, but it is what it is. I, I, I gotta start picking against her in order for her to win because it's like that like the battle that I picked against her was the Tay Rock battle was the battle that was closest to the one that people gave it a win or made it debatable, whatever the case may be. But that's the that's the best one. And I picked against her in the 40 battle and she won. So I gotta start picking against her in order for her to win. That's the only way. I gotta that's now I got it official. I got it official. I'm gonna start picking against you so you can win some motherfucking battles. Or you can at least get through your material. The battles that I pick against you, you at least get through your material. Like everything else is irrelevant. You know how many people watch this shit? Hmm? Y'all be knowing too. When y'all go up there and get y'all ass smoke, y'all already know. As soon as you jump on that YouTube and that algorithm, that motherfucker gonna pop right up. Bing! What's up? What's up with you? You know we gonna talk about it. You already know. So don't get mad when you see the video and it's titled how it's titled because you got dog walked. Gotta get that shit together, my, my girl. Come on now. Y'all niggas be having y'all people watching the video. Like, y'all people be watching the events and shit. I know y'all family be watching. Niggas moms and aunties and shit. They probably be having watch parties and shit. And y'all be going out like this? I know. You know how many motherfuckers want to battle rap? You know how many people would love to get the opportunity to battle rap? And I can see if that shit happened once. But this shit be happening in mad battles, son. This is not even the first time. This shit be happening off 10. O-F-T-E-N. You got to get that shit together. Salute to Young Gaddis. Uh, I like to see Young Gaddis continue battling. I seen her saying something about her versus k -Shine. Don't even do that. Gaddis, leave k -Shine alone. Go watch e -Heart versus k -Shine and then rethink that decision. Leave this nigga k -Shine alone. That's not what you want to do. Go take somebody else, you know what I'm saying, that you could that you could continue to work on. Because I ain't going to lie. You was rapidly rapidly, but if, if you battling against somebody that's clean, that's going to get their shit out, like, I don't think you would have beat that shit that Vixen had tonight. I don't think you would have beat that. So that's what I'm saying. You got to continue to hone that shit. Continue to hone it. Do not, do not jump out the window. Because you know what my daddy told me a long time ago? He said, everybody's going to die one day, but some people jump the fucking line. Everybody is going to die one day, but a lot of people jump the line. Do not, <laughs> do not jump the line. To die is all I'm saying. Because we all going to leave here one day, but don't skip the line. You did great today. It was a good performance. Uh, mad props to you. I give you that. And keep this shit up. But, oh, you got to get it together. Get the fuck out of here. Go on.
order before, all for the low. Cop a phone, border patrol. Speaking code, get you a phone, you can call me up. I only came for the racks, this is Mardi Gras. I'm on another level that you'll never be in. Funny how I know your plug and you never seen it. When it come to broke niggas, I am never worried. Legendary nigga, what's a boss to a secretary?